This is the main medicines box which keeps all the medicines as well as the magic controller unit. The LCD screen and the keypad make up the user interface of the device. You can also see a bunch of LEDs and a buzzer for efficient notification at the time of medication. This is the second part of the concept, the wireless user tag. It communicates with the main box via RF transmission and is supposed to be kept by the patient with him or her at all times. The medicine box runs primarily on a TI-MSP430 FG4618 MCU and contains compartments where the corresponding medicines will be kept by the user. The alarms for these compartments can be set, viewed or deleted by the user using buttons on the keypad. At the time of an alarm, the main LED and the buzzer are turned on along with the LED of the corresponding compartment. The user is also notified via the wireless user tag through RF transmission between a transmitter on the box and a receiver on the user tag. These two are realized using TIMSP430 launch pads. If any medicine is missed, it is added to the list of missed alarms. We will now demonstrate how to set an alarm in Medicist. The real time clock is being displayed on the LCD for now. We use the set alarm function by pressing the corresponding button on the keypad. It first asks for the box number where we enter 3. It then asks for the number of days for which the user wants the notification, example 15 days. The number of pills to be taken at each time are programmed when asked for pills, which we can take 2 for now. We now enter the number of times the dosages have to be taken in one day. We enter one here, but this can be more than one. For example, some medications are taken twice, once in the morning and once at night. Let's enter the time of the alarm as 19.30 hours. The alarm has now been added to the device. It can be viewed using the list alarm functionality. You can see the time and number of pills for the alarm that was added and use the up and down button to navigate the list of alarms. Let us demonstrate the notification system of Medicist. We have set an alarm here at 2000 hours. You can see both the box and the user tag in the frame. As soon as it becomes alarm time, the main LED on the box as well as the buzzer will turn on. After a few seconds, the signal will be sent to the user tag via RF transmission. You will see the LEDs and the vibrators on the box and hear the buzzers on both the box and the user tag. Both buzzers turn off automatically in 15 seconds, but LEDs and vibrators will stay on. Pressing a button on the user tag also turns its buzzer off. The last place on the LCD shows how many pills are to be taken. On opening the indicated box, the main LED and the LED and vibrator on the compartment turn off. That is, it is assumed that the medicine is taken. If the medicine is not taken for another 15 minutes, the same process is repeated. If even after 1 hour the medication is not taken, the alarm is added to the list of missed alarms which will be shown later. After 1 hour, the alarm is assumed to be missed and is added to the list of missed alarms. The alarm here was to take medicines at 20 hundred hours which we will not. So we will see the missed alarm LED light up. On pressing the button to list missed alarms, the missed alarms will be displayed. The caretaker can use this to see what, what medications were not taken and contact the doctor for further instructions. The alarm can then be deleted from this list by using the delete button.
when they will be more alarmed with close times they are clubbed into a single slot of one hour the person is notified only once of these medications to be taken the method will be demonstrated here two alarms one at 20 hundred hours at compartment 3 and one at 20 30 hours at compartment 1 are already programmed after the first medication will be taken the main led will stay on and the led of the new compartment will light up after taking that medication all leds and vibrators go off